Ho, ho, ho. Commander Forte is here, lads. And not only is she here, we got the lads with her. So today, of course, we're going to be showing her off. Yesterday, we pulled her. If you've not seen the summon video, I recommend checking it out. It was a really good video. Especially if you're a fan of my summon videos, I definitely recommend it. But now we got the motherfucking lineup. We got the all-stars here. And let me say, with the release of Commander Forte, this one of Dark Team has become just so much better. They're already really good with Finn and DKing. But with Commander Forte, it's just like the icing on the cake. So you guys don't know what Commander Forte does. She is a nuke supporter for Mono Dark. She's going to help them deal more damage and she does it really well and she also makes them more consistent. So her first passive is Break Master level 2, all allies break power 10% up. Her second passive is Critical Master level 3, all allies critical damage 30% up. And the final one is Arts Gauge Master level 5, all allies Art Gauge 50 up when quest starts. Her skill is a 2000% dark damage physical and you increase your own Art Gauge by 12, 9 second cooldown, 800 break. Her art is a 10,000% dark damage physical. You reduce the enemy's dark resist by 10% for 30 seconds and you increase art gauge by 100 during enemy break one true art is 30,000 percent dark damage physical increase human units and dark units damage by 65 percent for 10 seconds now personally i have not seen a use for this art yet i did ifrit yesterday with the boys and sometimes during the ifrit crest palace we would break them and then i would pop the art but it wasn't consistent so i feel like most of the time you won't be using this at all and you should just be focusing on the true art whenever you're nuking with her i mean sometimes i would think this may come into play if you're break nuking then sure but if you're not break nuking nuking then just use true art most of the time her slots are five star physical five star support and four star magic i'll show you guys some pretty good equips and go a little bit more in detail with some equip setups you can run on mono dark and everything because i've had people may ask me that in the comments also if you're wondering what the best crest is for her attack up would be the best because she's a nuking unit or crit damage up would also be nice if you want to run that but i would say probably attack would be the best for her but one thing that made commander forte really broken was that art gauge passive art gauge master level five this gives everybody 50 art gauge well it also stacks with the fence passive which is tactics and this gives everybody 50 art gauge as soon as the quest starts so as soon as the quest starts everybody gets 100 art gauge just boom instantly now as far as equipment goes on these units it's really just you want stuff that buffs up your damage so you see here we have gem of rags this is a 50 percent art damage buff i'm not mistaken yeah 50 percent arts damage buff to everybody we have older togaro on rags himself who nemesis crow this is pretty much a must for mono dark unfortunately if you never invested into regulus or never got his true weapon and you want to get into mono dark you kind of need this true weapon to really deal out the as for the five star support slots, depending on what you're doing, I think that you don't need type zero. I just run it a lot because it just makes the team very consistent no matter what you're going to be at 200 art gauge when you get to the fight. If you don't know what you're trying to do, the whole point of Mono Dark is you nuke the boss within the first rotation of all of your true arts. So that's why I'm using double type zero here. If you want to use something else like a Goku uniform, you could probably do that and you wouldn't have to worry about art gauge. Everybody's going to have max art gauge anyway once you get to the final fight. Or even possibly if you're really feeling spicy, run like a chrono. But yeah, uh, that's a little bit too much much for me man so i'm just gonna run my two type zeros it works for me if you want something different you can do something different i'm using the new opm item which is genos vest on dark cane i've been liking it a lot everybody on my team does physical damage and increase everybody's physical damage by 20 percent and then it also increases d cane's damage by 30 percent and it gives them 70 art gauge not like the 70 art gauge is needed because of the double type zeros and how this team works it still is really good though also the next thing we're using is stimpty snips unfortunately you cannot get this anymore this was a kill a kill exclusive equip and this reduces the enemy's physical resistance by 20 percent there may be another item in the game that reduces physical resist as well i'm not for sure i never looked into it if you're not running that the best other thing would probably be something that just increases your damage even more like count race's rapier that's the halloween item if you have scissors blade you can run scissors blade i guess on dark cane if you just want more damage on him you can run this as well it's not nowhere near as good as scissors blade but this is nogia sword and then as for d finn of course we're going to be using his true weapon letter bag because we want some crit chance on the team we don't have regular so we're using letter bag and then the last four star magic slot is going to be the outfit my four star magics are the thing that's lacking the most on the team just because i don't have that many before you ask lp is dk just chew up in bed why don't you have it it's just that i don't use it and i've never used it before if you have dk chew weapon by all means put it on them and use it it's really good whenever you're nuking with them and as for forte's true weapon same thing if you want forte's true weapon put it on her it's gonna do good She'll do some damage, and that's that. This is just what I use, just because my equips are more set out to just buff up as much of my damage as I can. So that's Mono Dark. That's how the equip setup works. Let's just go nuke some bosses. Why not? And I said some because uh, if I just do one, it's going to be way too short of a video. So why not do the first one, which everybody, you know, usually takes a while on this. This is the Special EX Hyper One Punch Man event. I know a lot of people takes a lot of time on this, so why not just go and nuke it ourselves and see how long it takes us? We actually are going to pop a Genosest here. Oh, never mind. Well, I was going to pop it just to kill the, uh, the ads, but... 
but we're fine. So we're gonna get into this fight, and Garo is going to die instantaneously, boys. Garo is freaking dead. Let me just say that. Uh, there should be no way he survives this. That's all I'm saying. Uh, he might. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's dead, boys. Also, can we talk about how Commander Forte has the best animation in this entire game? I don't know if you guys saw it. I'll go to our unit page and show you. I wish every single unit, though, had as much creativity as Commander Forte's, because goodness, dude. Her animation is so nice. Her skill, she pulls out the AK-47 with the extendo mags. Her art, she pulls out the whole squad. Everybody pulls out the AK-47 with the extendo mags. And then the true art is even more people. They pull out the Barrett 50 cals in the back and then we got a cannon. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, I love this true art animation and I really wish that more units had as much creativity put into them as Commander Forte does because everybody else usually is just lines or something else for their arts and it's not like anything crazy. But hands down, that is my favorite animation in the entire game right now. But let's nuke Nogia. I don't know if anybody has a problem fighting Nogia. I don't think you guys do, but if you guys do, uh, let me let me just show you uh, how fast you can clear it with Mono Dart. Because uh, yeah, this one's actually a lot easier because I can just go crazy right off the bat since it's a one fight thing. So let's go into it. This is where Type Zero actually shines the most because uh, you can just instantly go into everything. Because Type Zero does have a passive where it increases your attack by 15% for like the first 30 seconds. And uh, yeah, there we go. Uh, <laughs> I think it's the first 15 seconds, right? I don't think it's the first 30. But look at that, another one. Dead. Could you possibly do this without Commander Forte? Yeah, I think you could, but I think it would be a little bit less consistent. But you could probably use D-Silly in the place of Commander Forte, just and see how that goes. I just think Commander Forte makes this extremely consistent, dude, and I just love her. Uh, we could nuke Ifrit, even though Ifrit's kind of, like, scary to nuke because there's so many stages, but why not? All right, hopefully we won't die because we have to get our True Arts back because I have to use my True Arts to clear the ads on those stages or else I'll just take too much damage. So let's see if, uh, if everything goes out right because uh, I hope at least, right? I, I hope everybody should get their true arts i'm pretty sure because of uh decaying's true art itself yep all right and then hopefully stun stun okay boom yeah, okay we got stunned <laughs> goodness i was so scared that we weren't gonna get that stun with rags rags saves me sometimes but we see how close our hp is a little bit risky nuking with mono dark sometimes but with rags he just throws them up in the air instantly faints the guy boom damn it and I would nuke the Crest Palace, but this Crest Palace is so RNG because if she iframes, then you can't nuke her. And then with this one, I don't think you can nuke Kalamisia like at all. But yeah, that's uh, Mono Dark in all of its glory. You saw how strong they were. And I wanted to say this, even though it seems like they're crazy because they're just one-shotting bosses within like 30 seconds most of the time. They're not the only team that can do this. You know, there's a lot of other team comps. There's fire nukes. You know, you have water nukes. You have a lot of other team comps that can just straight up kill stuff. Probably even faster faster than them or just as fast and as for like the viability for this team and like harder in-game content like i don't think you're gonna be able to nuke ganon with this team i don't know can you do y'all think we're gonna be able to nuke ganon with it i don't think we can if somebody nukes ganon with mono dark i will be actually amazed because i do know you can nuke him with himself which is the crazy part but yeah mono dark's back and they feel pretty strong right now man they really do and by the way if you don't know i did say this in my other video i'll just bring it up here before we end it the 65 percent damage applies twice if you're human and dark unit. So you only get one 65% damage up if you're one of the typing. So if you're human, you get 65% damage up. Or if you're dark, you get 65% damage up. However, if you're like a dark human type, then you get 65% plus 65% twice. So in total, you get 130% damage up if you're dark human. And guess what? She's dark human, Decane's dark human, and Ben's dark human. That's going to be it for the video, man. Thank you all for coming out. It's been your boy OP. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe for more. And yeah, man, Commander Forte, tell me down below how you guys are liking her if you did pull her if you guys have been nuking more of mono dark tell me how you do but thank you all for coming out again it's been your bro p and last but not least don't forget to drink water